Welcome to the NTD Technical Corner. Today, we're going to be reviewing the QJR Kitagawa Chuck from First MTA. Marcus, welcome to the Technical Corner. Thank you, GA. Marcus, to good to see you too. It's been a long time, and, and I hope you enjoy your day in the Technical Studio. Marcus, the QJR, I really like this Chuck. I've got some um, technical experience on it myself, but can you tell our audience about this model of Chuck? Yeah, by all means. Um, so yeah, as it sounds, it is it is a, a quick draw change chuck. So designed ultimately so that you can mount up sets of base jaw, uh, sets of top jaws on the base jaws, um, where you have repeat work, um, and the interchanging of those jaws is you know in a matter of seconds. So you, I mean, thirty seconds, and you can have the jaws changed over, um, and and be up and running on your on your second op on a on a on a job. So effectively, when you have a standard chuck, the master base jaws are incorporated into the body of the chuck. With the QJR chuck, the master base jaws are coming out, um, and it's effectively saving setup time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, saving setup time, saving you the time of having to rebore the jaws because they're already already finished and ready to go. Um, so, so yeah, in that instance, it's and, and reboring the jaws in itself is a costly exercise because effectively, when you're boring the jaws, your spindle is not running or producing parts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, completely. Um, also worth noting, the QJR is completely um, interchangeable with the, the um, BB two hundred series and BR chucks. So, if you've got an existing machine. Um, and you have the kind of work that, that would suit the QJR in the sense that you've got repeat jobs that are coming up, um, you know, week in, week out, um, then you can just take off your BR and this will interchange perfectly with that. And this has got the big bore? Yes, it has, yeah, that's correct. And how important is the big bore? Um, so the big bore is, is important in the sense that you want to obviously match the spindle with, with, with the chuck. So if you've got a 66 capacity machine, you want a 66 capacity chuck to match it because you don't want to reduce your, your capacity of your machine. So, so from that perspective, yeah, very important. So Marcus, does it take different jaws or is it the same as all of the other chucks? No, so it uses Kitagawa standard jaws, um, so fully interchangeable. Um, you, can, you can use pie jaws, um, you, you can fit hard jaws, you can fit um, yeah, standard, standard soft jaws. Um, so, so yeah, totally interchangeable with the which with are all available jaws. from First MTA. Absolutely, yeah. And in regards to repeatability, by having the mastered base jaws, you know, coming out of the chuck, does this affect the repeatability and accuracy? Um, no. So it the, the, it is it is maintained. I mean, the the repeatability of the of the chuck is about twenty microns. I think as you get to the largest size, it maybe increases slightly, but. Um, as long as that's in line with the sort of work that the customer is doing, then then you should get that, you know, consistently until the jaws are well, well used and worn. Um, so very eye accuracy, as you would expect from a Kitagawa product. The the master base jaws, Marcus, can can are they reversible? Yes, absolutely. So so yeah, you can you can mount them that way, and you can also rotate them and mount them mount them the other way. So uh, the holes are slightly off center in the jaw, so it gives you a slightly different position for the jaw when they're mounted. And the ease the of changing the the master base jaws, we can see the video here. Um, it looks very simple. Yeah. Can you talk us through it, please? And can you explain the safety feature that it also um, offers? Uh, yeah. So you've got a you've got you've got the the handle here, um, which is which is spring loaded. Um, so it can never be left in the chuck. Um, as you can see here on the on the video, um, I've just released the released the handle from the chuck, um, and and that's left the jaw locked in. Um, the 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 handle is actually fixed in position in the chuck whilst the jaw, and until the jaw is in final position, um, and cannot be released until the jaw is safe and secure. Brilliant. Now I can certainly see a requirement for this, and I can certainly see how an end user can get. A very quick return of investment for the, the right application. Yeah. What range do these chucks come in? Uh, so they come in. Um, so this is the seven, um, which is replaces the six inch, um, and then you have a uh, the eight inch, ten, and twelve inch. Marcus, thank you very much. So there you have it, the QJR chuck from First MTA Kitagawa. To find out more, contact First MTA. Mm -hmm.